All right, you ready? <sighs> Live from the new. <laughs> from the Midwest Gaming Classic. It's a podcast that screwed it up already. It's Guys, Games, and Beer! Yeah! Okay, so Rob, where are, we're at the Midwest Gaming Classic. What are we drinking here tonight, Rob? Hey, Tom, did I mention the part where you're supposed to talk into the microphone? No, you didn't, but that's okay. So, Rob, what are we drinking tonight? Actually, I thought you were going to read what we were going to drink tonight. Kitty riding a unicorn. There you go. No, no, it is fantasy factory. It is kitty riding a unicorn. It's an Indian pale ale. Can I explain it? They gave it to me oh, first. Oh, yes, go ahead. You oh, yeah, I wanted to do that. Okay. On. Wait, wait, she's going to explain it because, heaven forbid, we shouldn't. Well, they gave it to me to try first. I was okay. so excited. All right, all right, so what is this? It's an India pale ale. It's from Madison, and it's got the most badass label Ever. I we think you shown need. The We've shown the oh, you have? Okay. So, everybody, try your beer. I've had it. All right. Okay, what do you guys think? It's very hoppy. I'll give it a thumbs up. I give it a thumbs up. Oh, I got, oh, I got some thumbs up now. Let's see, thumbs up. I give it a thumbs up. Yeah, up. I give it a three, four. I say, right there, you do a Okay, wait a minute. Laura. Wait, we got one yeah, scent on. over there. Come here, Laura. Come here, Laura. We got the scent in the ranks. It's a typical IPA. Nothing fancy, nothing special. See, that's kind of why I like it. I detest IPAs, and this is smooth. This actually does not like make me just taste like I'm licking sand at the end. I like it. Okay, all right. Anybody else want to make another yeah. center? I think, yeah, uh, super simplistic, overdone IPA that everyone's doing, but uh, I guess I'm kind of anti-IPA to begin with, so. Okay, right. Not changing your mind. However, I, overall, the, the vote did come up positive, so it gets to the G2B thumbs up. All right, all right. That's all right. good. Okay, so Rob, what are, we, what are we talking about on the show tonight, Rob? Well, number one, I want to mention that this is actually finally made the record of largest podcast we've done. <laughs> yeah. And today what we're going to talk about is our favorite thing at the Midwest Gaming Classic. And I'm going to abdicate from this one just for the sake of speed. I'm going to pass it over to... I'm going to pass it over to Tom first. Oh, well, you know what? I... Okay, so there is this really cool company. And what's the name of the company now again? It's uh, Lights from the Cave. Lights from the Cave that made me this... Okay, so I am a big whiskey drinker, as you all know, that made me this sweet JMO lamp. So... My favorite thing so far is a lamp by Lights from the Cave. Um, they're on Etsy under that name. Under on Etsy under that name, they made me this really cool JMO lamp, and uh, they also make all sorts of like retro gaming lamps and uh, glasses and all sorts of other cool things. Find them on Etsy. We had a, we had a very hilarious ride up here because we were like looking for this room. It's way out of the way. It's a labyrinth, and Larry is you know a little drunk walking around with a JMO lamp, and everybody's like, "That guy's got JMO," and he's like. That's a lamp, and like everybody was giving like these weird comments, like, "Hey, check out that guy with the Jameson." We get like the elevator, super awkward elevator ride. Yes, like the weirdest. But very cool stuff. Okay, so Travis. Oh, your your what your favorite thing here so far? Okay, I do have to say, uh, I'm really glad that this weekend, uh, International Tabletop Day, fell on the same weekend, because it was so fun uh, playing a lot of the board games. Uh, Milcog brought about like thirty thousand dollars of board games for people to just check out uh, and they have a really good staff that they had people to t you know play games with they'd you know recommend stuff that you know you tell them a few board games you liked and they did a really good job so Here's okay all right we're gonna go with next Kevin Kevin what did you find that you liked this weekend honestly I just gotta give again that the game library we uh, a couple hours ago me and a couple of people played this game I hadn't seen since the 90s and it was just like it literally took three hours key to the kingdom it's like just you're flipping the board in and out and like you're jumping these whirlpools and trying to get some treasure and this and you know for like a fairly obscure limited run game that you know that's about 25 years old it just it was like wow this is actually even better than I remember it being as a child like it's just it's it was exciting and that is the cool thing about old games you, you can find these old treasures all right Mike 
Well, as you know, MGC is always near and dear to my heart, and also New Bed's heart because you know this. We, we do know that. Yes, this is hi, this is our one year engagement. Right. Yeah, tomorrow tomorrow's our one year engagement. That's when I asked her to propose. Yeah. Oh. They got engaged at MGC. With yes. Married. How did I? I'm working on it. We know a guy. <laughs> <laughs> All right. He does. He does. He does. He does stuff and does things. Uh, but I actually really enjoyed actually uh, sitting around with uh, Travis and JJ and uh, Mikey, seeing all the people come by Cryo Master and stuff like that, and going like, "What is this? This is pretty cool. I like this. Oh, you want free stuff? Here, take it." <laughs> I thought that was just great, and people were actually like asking like serious questions, like, "How do? You? Yeah, Crossmaster, Cryo Master. Uh, don't, don't interrupt me. Let me go. Whatever." <laughs> Shut up, JJ. <laughs> but yeah, that's what that's why I enjoyed. But here you go. Go. Cool. All right. All right. New map. What do you like? I was gonna say, of course. No, sorry. I was gonna say, of course, the one-year engagement is always fun because we're gonna re-air the video tomorrow. Correct? Mm -hmm. uh, I have been enjoying the cosplay uh, again this year. People really picked it up on what their creativity, especially with one of the guys from Shadow yeah, awesome. Shadow Link. He looked. Amazing, so I much work. In a dark hallway, and all I saw was red eyes. I was a little scared. Yeah, <laughs> but definitely, definitely did a better job this year on people being cosplay. All right, Jerry, what did you see that you liked? One there was one booze. One oh. <laughs> Homemade Jen, okay. courtesy of Tom, okay. because I've been too busy to actually play any games besides the Pac-Man game you in your room. Game you enjoyed my Pac-Man, right? Yes, and I think that's the first game I've played this year, and I think it's the first game I've played in your room. <laughs> oh, okay. Well, but it was good. But wow. you should always go to the Guys Games and Beer Room at Midwest Gaming Classic. If you buy your tickets from me, I'm sending you there anyways. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Okay, Tyler, come on up here. You gotta walk. You gotta stand up, otherwise nobody's gonna see you, buddy. All right. Well, obviously the vendor hall is always great. Picking up things. I uh, bought a Sega today. Got uh, Road Rash 2, which is one of my favorite Sega yes. games. Yeah. Uh, but the other thing is, I didn't get a chance to play it, but Pack a Pong in the room next to us. They had a contest, I think, yeah. today. Looks amazing. It's a combination of Pac-Man, Pong, and Space Invaders, all in one. And it is a lot of fun. Looks really cool. I highly check, recommend we all check it out tomorrow. Okay, tomorrow we'll have to check that out. All right, Jeremy, you're up. Brian. Brian, I'm sorry. It's been a long day. <laughs> Never mind. I've been a long day. I've been drinking already. All right. All right. So he's uh, been on the show before. Uh, one of my favorite things, I, I just like to find Robotron. It's one of my favorite games. And the, even, the even full though size full arcade size arcade. Uh, full size arcade. I have it in my basement. I don't care where it is. I want to play it. And you found one here? Yes. All Two right, of them. All right. All right. So I'm gonna move the mic back up here. Who else has something for us? You already said, right? No, you didn't say what you, but you like. Come up here. I like the tabletop. Uh, I like that. There was actually a huge section for that. But my favorite thing was playing Bomberman six player. They had a ten player game set up. I'm looking forward to trying it out ten player tomorrow. But definitely six player Bomberman was awesome. Okay, who else has something they want to talk about? They've got to cut stand-up, otherwise we won't get you on camera. Hi, I'm Jake Pingus, and yeah, uh, I'm an avid pinball player, and even more, the older the pinball machine, the more I'm engrossed playing it and just going, I could spend here hours playing this. But uh, unfortunately, for uh, I've got to do videography work for the... Uh, uh, GCTV, which is Game Centric Television, our uh, upcoming YouTube podcast Sweet. of old school and board games. Sweet. And uh, what is your website? Ah, uh, what is the website exactly? I don't have a. Oh, wait, oh, oh wait, read the website off for us. There you go. It is uh, our radio program is on BlogTalkRadio.com, and that is GC Game Centric Radio. Otherwise, you can find us at Facebook at Game Centric Radio. And yeah, that is our show. And hey, thanks for having us on. Hey, it's great to have you guys. Glad you guys stopped by. All right. You want to talk a little bit more about it? I'll try. So you, you can follow him up so you can both on the same podcast. Talk about that fedora. Yeah. You, you, fedora. you really do need to talk about the sweet fedora. Okay. I can talk about the fedora. Okay. But start with the show. I will start with the show. So, uh, my name is Scott Dyer, and I represent Game Centric Radio. 
Um, we are also branching into the YouTube negaverse, as it were, and we're going to become game-centric television. And if you guys are interested in listening to our podcast, we're at blogtalkradio.com forward slash game-centric-radio. And we're also on Facebook at facebook.com forward slash game-centric-radio. <laughs> And for my favorite thing at the Midwest Gaming Classic, I think it's, it's our first year being able to cover the event as press, both for the radio show as well as for our new up-and-coming YouTube channel. So I'm very interested and very excited to be able to do the press thing around the convention showroom so I'm able to see the pinball, the classic gaming, the tabletop gaming, and everything in between. You know, it's kind of like a mirror in a mirror in a mirror. We are, we're, we're like press, covering press that's covering press. Yes. It's a, yes, <laughs> it, is, it is like the... The Russian dolls where you have one within the other, within the other, within the other. There is a, there is a singular. The fedora was a, it was a purchase from a, a local coal shop, actually. But because of, you know, my own particular style and whatnot, it's actually really hard to find a really nice fedora. So I actually had to shop around like four different Kohl's stores to find this fedora. And once I found the fedora, I said, this is my fedora. There are many other fedoras like it, but this is the one for me. All right. All right. We are out of Milwaukee as well as Northwest Indiana, so we're we're truly a technological podcast, as it were. The the funniest thing about Racine is we have a a hat store. Okay, who who is going to oh. go? Up? Patrick, you're next. <laughs> what? For pa- yeah, for what you what you found that you like. All right, Patrick, come on over here. All right. Hey, I'm Patrick. Uh, I'm with Guyton Beer, like always, stumbling. But good. Yeah, the one thing that I liked about being here is just meeting all my friends again, meeting all the vendors, and all the crosstalk, of course, again. But, <laughs> anyways, yeah, it's just yeah, having yeah, a great like, time, great vacation time. Yes, it, it always is. All right, Ben, you're next. All right. All right. Come on, Ben, you got to get up here and, and get. Tell us, what did you find that you really liked? I actually found a room that I've been kind of interested in, but never really knew what was going on. The pinball just parts. Yes. Just the parts part. It's just like, holy shit, this is awesome. Yes, and you guys know about the new job, the arcade machine repair tech, which is super cool. And now I actually get to see parts that I'm like, oh, this could go great in a machine. And now I have to pick you know, them up. Okay. I have to. You, oh, all right, so tomorrow you're buying parts? Yeah. All right, sounds parts. good. Laura, are you coming up next? I am. All right. I'm pretty excited about the vendor hall. I found this guy, which of course I don't remember his name right now, but he is selling his own books, which is really awesome, and I'm going to buy tomorrow. I think that's awesome to hawk your own shit, and uh, I'm really excited for him. Um, It's about this hippie girl who realizes she's the, like, queen of this monster realm, and it sounds really awesome. It doesn't sound bad. And I, I, I'm gonna give her that. It doesn't I sound wish bad. I, I no. wish I knew his name so I could better like oh, you should be sell him. You should I be know. We, okay, I'll tell you what. She's gonna find out. She is going to find out who you, what your name is, and we will put a link on our website with Laura's suggestion. Because you're awesome. Yeah, because the editor is definitely gonna do that. <laughs> okay. No, I'll do it. I'm just <laughs> messing with it. All right. Yeah. I'm Mikey, uh, G2B Groupie. Uh, per se, and uh, my favorite thing was uh, definitely with uh, Travis and JJ teaching people to play Crossmaster Arena, only for them to turn around and kick our butts on the first game every time. Oh, you guys got every single time. Oh, nice job, gentlemen. A lot of fun, though. All right. Okay, hey, we've got a special, we got a special guest I'm right now. special guest? You have a special guest. What do you mean by Absolutely. special? Guest of honor. Okay, I'm not going to say what I mean by special. <laughs> Introduce yourself and tell them why you're here. Uh, hey, I'm Zach Nanimus. Uh, I am originally originally from, I still live in Texas. Yeah, you still live in Texas. Uh, yeah. Temporarily. Yeah. <laughs> we have to send you back at the end yes. of the show. Um, I don't want to give him that. No, you Aww. can't keep him. You can't keep him. Matchmaker, matchmaker. I want to keep Zach. I'll, I'll, I'll feed him every day. No. <laughs> uh, Zach is a big responsibility. Okay, Zach, continue on. Okay, uh, I'm Zach Nanimous. Uh, I'm, Zach Nanimous. Okay, uh, I'm, Zach Nanimous. Uh, I'm with Warlocks Games and Beer. You can find us on uh, warlocksgamesandbeer.com. Also, War, uh, Warlocks on YouTube. Uh, Warlocks Games and Beer on YouTube and Facebook. Um, my favorite part. I have a runner-up. Was a cabinet of the real Ghostbusters. Yeah, that was that was really cool. Oh, yeah. But my favorite thing, being the newbie from Texas, was the great hospitality that I got from the guys and gals of gaming and beer. Thank you so much. Yay! Thank you, thank you. All right. Three.
Oh, you now you, you're you're a veteran. You can come yeah, up and do yeah. this. This guy's a veteran. He was on our podcast last yeah. year from here. All right. Almost actually exactly a year to the day. It yeah. Really, literally one day away. Yeah. Yeah. Well. So? Well, here's the thing. Like, I was kind of stapled to my table a little bit, you know, promoting Extra Life. Extra-life.org. Uh, help kids. Play games. Save lives. Uh, and, yeah, I would say, like, probably the best thing that I was able to sneak out and see, it wasn't really so much of a game. It was actually, there was a lot of really cool musical acts this year. Uh, awkward, <laughs> awkward, awkward, terrible, awesome guys, uh, sugar stems. Yes, they were! Lords, <laughs> Lords of the Trident were amazing. Thank you. Woo! Just in general. We're terrible with better, and it's a lot of your CDs. And I'm really sad. Like them on Facebook. We'll talk yeah. to you. You can right. say when you come up. You can say I love this. I love this support. I bought every CD of every band that was up today. <laughs> yeah. so, okay, it was fantastic. Can we say one more time? Oh, yes, that's extra dash. Yes. All right, all right. In case you are not a regular viewer of Games, Guys, and Beer. Guys, Games, and Beer. That shows how great I am right there. Beer, beer, and beer. Uh, <laughs> we're okay with that one. Uh, yeah, uh, I was here last year and this year promoting Extra Life, a program where basically uh, if you enjoy to play games... Uh, and you enjoy hanging out with friends, and you enjoy helping kids. Uh, you play games for 24 hours and help raise funds for your local children's hospital as part of Children's Miracle Network. Uh, last year, we raised $14 million for children's yeah. hospitals across the U.S. Yeah. and Canada. Yeah! That is amazing. And you know what? This year, we're going to break that. Boom. That's going to be help from viewers like you. All right. So. Thank you very much. Again, check out that site. It's really a great cause. Kyle, you coming up? All yeah. right, Kyle. Thank you. Thank you. Styling there, Kyle. I uh, just really wanted to give a shout out to the, all the independent game makers out there. I had the uh, <laughs> thank you. I had the uh, distinct pleasure to wander around a few of the um, extremely awesome uh, independent game makers out there, including Galactivision. I uh, was this uh, mecha tank shooting shit at uh, people. It was a good time. So um, just uh, all the independent game makers out there. That's that's great. We uh, heavily support indie gaming groups. So. Oh, yeah, Rob, like, Rob specifically helped heavily support it by buying all their garbage. Yeah. games. <laughs> oh, don't tell oh, me. Feelings are hurt. I'm just saying. You, Feelings are hurt. You buy everything. You buy everything, Rob. Everything. All right, come on, Patrick. Next to us was an indie game. Everybody's an, everything's an indie game to us. My favorite part was the delightful shots and cream um, pudding that she made. Jerry was absolutely. Incredible. Explain, no, explain that a little further. So, normally when you do jello shots, you're used to like the college kind of like, oh my god, that is all liquor with just a drop of little Kool Aid mixed to it. Not only did she succeed in not having any liquor tasteable in it, there was cream ones, what, the rum chata tasted rum like butter. It was like butter with cinnamon oh god, sugar in it. Awesome. Absolutely perfectly cream. So I mean, good. yeah. I, okay. Thank you for the hangover, but it was tasty. <laughs> Cheers. Cheers, yeah. Okay, now. You've got to go to the website there. Literally, she made over a thousand jello and pudding shots. When we say a bathtub full, we're not exaggerating. She literally filled a bathtub full. All right, who's next? Anybody else have they, something that they want to mention on this? How about it, Jonah? How about it? Jonah, Jonah. Jonah, Jonah you got to do this. <laughs> Joey, where are Joey? Where are you? Jonah. All right, you mind if I uh, beat on myself? Oh, please, beat on yourself. Oh, my God, you wrap it up. All right. Wait, wait. Okay, yeah, go ahead. Do this. Jonah's my son, and I'm very proud of him, I'd like to say, because he plays games. So, uh, Jonah, what was your favorite part of the Midwest Gaming um, my Classic? My favorite part was going into the pinball area and playing Queen's Killer Queen. Killer Queen. Me, Patrick, and Joey played it for three hours total, wait, maybe. Any relation to the band? I don't know the band. <laughs> I did. And that's the check I wanted to make. <laughs> it was, does he have any clue? Killer Queens was an awesome song before he was born. <laughs> no, but this game was amazing. We, uh, there's three things, like three ways that you can win. One is taking a snail to the other team's goal. One is collecting berries and putting them into your hive. And the third one is a military strategy where you have to kill their queen three times. So, yeah. It actually sounds like work. It does sound like yeah. work, but amazing. <laughs> yeah. But the rounds go, what? 
three hours, around three hours. So they played it like three hours. Yeah. Yeah, it was it was pretty good. What? What? Oh, Patrick. And on top of it, it's just you need to pay attention to every single thing. The economy, the queen oh. kills, and the snail. Because Jonah, I, and I'm calling Brian. But anyways. <laughs> but oh. that, <laughs> we we lost. Get up here, Joe. Get up here, Joe. Get up here, Joe. Shot we lost. Brian, right, 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 right. Right. We, we, we lost to the snail about, what, ten times in a row? Yeah, because it's so sneaky and no one pays attention to it. Yeah. Like, it's, it's the slowest way possible to win. Like, why would it's you do it? It's insanely addicting. I, if I was rich, I would have bought it easily. I, I would I would have offered him, like, $2 million. No, no. I, it's it a, was, the, if I had, like, $600 Joey. million. Dollars, you would have bought it. I would have bought it. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right. So, I want to thank everybody for coming oh, out yeah, tonight. Yeah. What? You can say what you, you're number yeah. one. Oh, uh, do we want to talk about me? I do want to talk about you. You need to tell the record. Rob, 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 just meeting everybody. I really had a great time this year. Uh, working the room was wonderful. I got to meet a lot of wonderful people. Uh, I just, you know, really, really liked it. I didn't mind buying stuff either, though. Oh, I, I'll oh, tell you guys the truth. Rob, has your wife found out how much you spent already? No, and she's not going to find out because she's not going to watch this episode. <laughs> Amen. You know what? I'm going to take a soundbite of that. <laughs> Rob, I didn't hear that. Rob, Wait, take a are you cutting me out? Oh, whoa, 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 oh. Whoa, 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 Sorry, and behind the bar, we got Larry. All right, what's your favorite part of the show? You know what? I like the expansion of it. This may be the best convention I've ever been to. Like overall convention? Yes. Okay. So there, there, are, there are video games. There are tabletop games. There are bands to listen to. There, the, it is everything I've ever wanted in a convention. I just it sort of blows my mind. And the and the people around are just great. They are friendly, they are fun, they're respect receptive and respective. And they wear great costumes. And they do. And there is yeah, cosplay, which is fun too. I I just think it is a great convention. And I want to encourage everyone, if you have not come to this convention, you should give this one a try. I absolutely it agree. worth it. Oh, it's, it's definitely. Please, worth please, it. please, it's an inexpensive convention, especially for what you get out of it. All right, well, the bartender has spoken. That always ends the show. That always does. Now we drink gin. <laughs> hey, I can't exit better than that. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen. Please visit us at www.guysgamesandbeer.net. I'm really close to the camera. Hi. <laughs> okay. And why, was, why should they visit you at those sites, Rob? Because we have free giveaways, both on our Facebook site at www.facebook.com slash guysgamesandbeer, and we give it away on Twitter. On Twitter, we're called at guysgamesbeer. Okay, and we are giving games away all the time. If you have a Steam account and you are not following our sites, you are not getting lots of free goodies. You're welcome. See, I thought you were going to come here and put your two cents. It's too late. Can I, no. Can I, can I plug my show? Oh. Yes, you can. Plug your show. Yes. Do it quick. Do it quick. All right, before the end, plug your show. I, I'm going to say thank you again to Rob for the PlayStation. I, I picked up Tomb Raider today. Already? That's all I got. Um, but if anyone wants to send me some free PlayStation games, I'm totally cool with that. Also, Scared Sleepless. We are on twingalaxies.com slash live. We play scary games. We are open for suggestions at any time. It is 10 p.m. Pacific time. So midnight. Midnight Central, Central time. I know it's really late, but we play we play scary games and it's a blast. We are we're pretty fun. You are a lot of fun. Really. We're kind of fun. We try to be fun. Again, we're looking for new suggestions, so I know all of you nerdy gamers want to give us some suggestions on what to play. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Wait, wait, wait! In the, in the words of Justin Powell, Powell, dorky. Whoa! Oh, are you under the water? Run! Uh, scared, scared, sleepless, scared, scared, sleepless.
Let's fight. <laughs> Thanks for watching, guys. It's a beer. Have yourself a lovely evening like we did tonight. Visit us at www.guysgamesandbeer.net. Check us out on Facebook for free games at www.facebook.com slash guysgamesandbeer. What, not enough free games? Visit us on Twitter at guysgamesbeer. Yeah, there's no hand there. Stupid tweet.